Florida and invasive species, they go together like honey and bees. Today, I will be teaching you all about the invasive species that live in Florida. So let's try the intro. You may be wondering what an invasive species is. An invasive species is a species that was introduced into an area it was not native to, and that species then harms the ecosystem there. Invasive species are different from non-native species. Non-native species are species that were introduced into an area that they were not native to, but they do not harm that new ecosystem there. They carve out their own place in the new ecosystem. And a native species is a species that naturally lives in an area and has a place in the ecosystem there. Now that I have that general information out of the way, I will teach you guys about some of the invasive species down here in Florida. Because of Florida's warm tropical climate, many introduced species are able to thrive here. Florida is actually the US state with the most invasive species that we know of. Most of the invasive species of Florida live in South Florida, which is not where I live. I live in Northeast Florida, but we still have invasive species here too. So I will not be teaching you guys about the invasive plants of Florida. This is a zoology channel after all. I will only be teaching you guys about the invasive animals of Florida. So let's get started. The first invasive species is probably the most famous invasive species in Florida. The Burmese python. Burmese pythons can get to 18 feet long or 5.4 meters long. But they are usually only 6 to 9 feet long or 1.8 to 2.7 meters long. They are carnivores and kill their prey by squeezing them to death. They are native to South and Southeast Asia. They were introduced into Florida in 1992 when a hurricane destroyed a breeding facility. People also released them before because they were people's pets and they got too big to keep. They harm the ecosystem in Florida by eating native mammals. There has actually been a 90% decrease in the populations of rabbits, foxes, opossums, deer, raccoons, and many other animals because of the Burmese pythons. The next animal is the Argentine black and white tegu. The Argentine black and white tegu is about 5 feet or 1.5 meters long. They are omnivores. They are native to South America. They were introduced into Florida in 2012. At first, the tegus were people's pets. When people did not want them as pets anymore, they released them into the wild. This is a common theme with invasive species around the world. Lots of them were people's pets and they got released into the wild. They harm the ecosystem in Florida by eating the eggs of many native animals, such as the American alligator and different species of ground nesting birds. The next animal is the brown anole. The brown anole is about 5 to 9 inches long, or 12.7 to 23 centimeters long. They are carnivores. They are native to the Caribbean. They were introduced into Florida in the late 1800s when they hitched a ride on a cargo ship that was heading from Cuba to Florida. They harm the ecosystem in Florida by eating and outcompeting the native species of lizards, such as the brown anole. The next animal is the toxic cane toad. Toxic cane toads are 6 to 9 inches long, or 15 to 23 centimeters long. They are native from southern Texas all the way to the Amazon rainforest. They were introduced into Florida in the 1930s as a form of pest control. Basically, there were lots of beetles eating sugar cane that was being grown in Florida. So someone released the cane toads to eat the beetles, and the toxic cane toads spread out from there. They harmed the ecosystem in Florida by outcompeting the native frogs and toads, and any animals that tried to eat them die because of the poison they excrete from their back. The next animal is the Cuban tree frog. The Cuban tree frog is 1.5 to 5 inches long, or 3.8 to 12.7 centimeters long. They are carnivores. They are native to the Caribbean. They were introduced into Florida in the 1920s when they hitched a ride on a cargo ship to Florida. They harm the ecosystem in Florida by eating native frogs. The next animal is the red lionfish. The red lionfish is 12 to 15 inches long, or 30.5 to 38 centimeters long. They are carnivores. They are native to the Indian and South Pacific Oceans. We do not know exactly how they got here, but it was probably people who had the red lionfish as pets and then they released them into the wild. They harm the ecosystem in Florida by eating small native fish and crustaceans. The next animal is the wild hog. Wild hogs are 5 feet or 1.5 meters long. They are omnivores. They are native to Eurasia. They were introduced into Florida in 1539. 
when Spanish explorer Hernando de Soto released them. Today they can be found in every county in Florida. They harm the ecosystem in Florida by trampling and uprooting native plants in a process that is called rooting. The next animal is the feral cat. Feral cats are about 18 inches long or 46 centimeters long. They are carnivores. They first originated in the Middle East and North Africa and 10,000 to 12,000 years ago they moved into human settlements to eat rats and mice that were eating grain in human storehouses. Humans kept these cats because they protected the grain. These cats moved around with humans over the centuries and eventually made it to Florida. They harmed the ecosystem in Florida by eating native birds and mammals. The last invasive species is probably the worst invasive species around the world. They are the reason all the other invasive species are in Florida. I'm talking about Homo sapiens, or, or as I like to call them, evolution's big mistake. Homo sapiens are about 5.2 to 5.6 feet tall, or 1.6 to 1.7 meters tall. They are mostly omnivores. They originated in Africa, and about 60,000 years ago, they started migrating out of Africa. They migrated to every continent except Antarctica. They probably led to the extinction of most of the Pleistocene megafauna. After that, they became part of their new ecosystems until they discovered agriculture. Human technology advanced quickly, and humans started separating themselves from nature. Today, they harm not just the Floridian ecosystem, but every ecosystem by replacing natural habitats with human settlements, killing many animals, changing the Earth's climate, polluting many places, and introducing other invasive species. And with that, I conclude my YouTube short and TikTok series, Invasive Species of Florida. But before we end the video, I conclude the year 2023. This year was the year I started uploading videos onto TikTok and YouTube. I started on September 21st on YouTube, and my channel has improved a lot since then. And I hope to improve a lot in the future. I, I am thankful for all of my subscribers. I absolutely love creating content online, like it's my favorite thing to do. I hope to get this channel to 1000 subscribers in 2024. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see all of you in 2024. Bye!